This is a short video to show partials of disassembling the XHD. As you can see, this screen has problems. Get dark on one side. It also has lines on it occasionally. And then it starts flipping out when it gets hot. So we're going to go through. First thing you need, power them down, of course. Disconnect your power. As you can see on this one here, I put blue tape around the front trim. I did that already because the plastics on these are very easy to scratch. Next thing you want to do is pick a soft surface to work on that's clean. I'm doing it on bubble wrap. Uh, the stand's already been removed, which is simple enough. That's a couple screws. It's not rocket science to take the stand off or the speaker off. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to put something under the front face right in the middle. A couple layers of cardboard works. Just about anything. Just have to hold the outer corners up a little bit. And then you're going to want to start removing the clip. Move this camera. You want to start removing the front trim. But actually the front trim is not coming off. Best and safest tool of this is using a credit card. And just file the edge down with a nail file or a pocket knife works because they're not too sharp but plastic is better because it doesn't scrape things up what you want to do is you want to get between the trim and push downward Hope you can see what I'm doing here you'll hear the clips release what you want to do is one corner here which is the opposite corner of the power button and then work your way down that side Card, bubble wrap. Being a little stubborn, it hasn't been apart yet. So I sometimes get it downside a little bit. Get those other ones and come back up. This is persistence, and two of them usually works better. Two cards at once, or in this case, a card and a knife. And you'll see it releases and you lift up on it a little bit and find something to put in there as a spacer once you get it out sharpie pen pencil in there get a little closer Let's see now I gotta go do the opposite corner more trouble doing the filming and taking the trim off same thing over here. Again, we're not trying to take the trim completely off because there's a power button, little cable. If you pull the trim too far down, you're going to make disconnect. Okay. Now, once both sides are fully released, you'll work your way to the metal and lift up on the tr back and you want to lift the back up off the monitor you're not taking the trim off you're lifting this off and as you're lifting you might have to go down the sides and clip another clip if you didn't get them all there's like three on each side and you just basically lift the top right off next thing is remove all the tape and throw it all away. I see there's quite a bit of it on these. Let me drop my card. I said plastic's usually the best tool. Doesn't cause much damage. good on top especially traps a lot of heat that's what kind of breaks scrumble it up throw it away let's get this tape off I'm gonna mark the screws so you can see where all the screws are that have to come out even though for the most part they're self-explanatory I 
had done a video before complete monitor but it was too big to load up to YouTube so now I gotta do the stage this so I guess we'll consider this part one okay now let's show some spoilers best thing to do is mark them and color code them for people that don't know what screw goes where Get a lot of these that have been apart and the screws were all in the wrong places so do as I showing here mark them all used a couple different color markers or whatever you have to also undo this clip here with the wires and that plastic clip there so these are all the green screws I'm marking are all the same size. For those who don't know, but you'll see them as you go. You might want to mark them as you take it apart. These two up here are also the same size. Black ones are two different lengths, two different size heads. Small ones going on the inside. So you can just make a note. S for short, black, or something like that. You can do a long black. Whatever it takes for you to remember what screws go where. Alright, now I'm going to take the screws out and then jump into part two. But this is an open monitor right now. I also want to mark while I'm at it. Serial number on this one so I don't forget whose parts is what. 